The IT franchise is about to get a major expansion next year with the prequel titled Welcome to Dairy. This project will be a mini-series set to drop exclusively on Max. The filming is already wrapped and the project is nearly ready for release. While we don't have a confirmed premiere date just yet, it's expected to be announced within the next few weeks, likely alongside the debut of the first trailer. For now, the official logo of the show has been unveiled. Now, here's where things get really interesting. The prequel won't be taking us back to some ancient era. The story is set in the 60s, a period that's unsettling in its own right. The series will dive into the origin of Pennywise and, more intriguingly, why he took on the terrifying form of a clown. The showrunners promise to answer burning questions fans have had since the movies, questions that the Dilogy left frustratingly unanswered. Welcome to Derry is helmed by none other than Andres Muschietti, who directed both IT movies, so you can expect that same vibe and atmosphere. Given the massive box office success of both IT films, it's no surprise that Warner Bros. isn't ready to let go of this cash cow just yet. In fact, Andres was itching to stay within Stephen King's universe even before the second chapter hit theaters. Jason Fuchs, who penned the script for Chapter 2, is back on board to write the prequel. This means we're in for a familiar creative team as Muschietti and Fuchs reunite to keep the It saga alive. Andres has confirmed that he'll direct several episodes himself. He's also revealed that as a kid, he and his friends were obsessed with Stephen King's books, swapping stories with each other. According to him, the It movies barely scratched the surface of the story's true depth, and he's eager to delve deeper into the twisted lore for fans. Stephen King himself has expressed excitement about the continuation of Derry's story, and he's especially pleased that Andy Muschietti will be steering the prequel ship. While King hasn't confirmed whether he'll be directly involved in the series, his comments strongly suggest that he's on board with the direction the franchise is heading. The creators of the show haven't been shy about their ambitions. They want to build an entire IT cinematic universe. This fits right in with WBD boss David Zaslav's strategy of turning big IPs into sprawling franchises, and it is clearly a prime candidate. Despite rumors swirling about a potential recast, Bill Skarsgård is indeed returning as Pennywise. Even before second chapter dropped, Bill and Warner Brothers had inked a deal for at least three appearances. Now, it's obvious that the third project won't be a threequel, but rather Welcome to Derry. While we can expect Bill to bring Pennywise's twisted grin back to our screens, don't count on seeing any of the Losers Club. Since Welcome to Derry is a prequel, there will be no storyline involving those characters. The plot promises to dive deep into Derry's dark history, exploring how the town became a place where children mysteriously disappear. In King's novel, The Losers Club's childhood is set in the late 50s, so the movies only gave us glimpses of Derry's background and Pennywise's origins, almost teasing the possibility of future spin-offs. The upcoming series seems poised to fill in those gaps. In the book, much of Derry's dark past is revealed through interludes, which are side stories breaking away from the main narrative. These interludes offer a chilling look at the town's cursed history and the show might lean heavily on this structure to flesh out Pennywise's backstory and the town's sinister roots. Andy Massetti has emphasized that IT mythology is vast and incredibly diverse. Pennywise has been around for millions of years, interacting with humans for at least 500, reappearing every 27 years to terrorize the dairy. This opens up endless possibilities for storytelling, especially when you consider that each cycle of the creature's return could be tied to major historical or dramatic events. Theoretically, a Across several seasons, the show could explore the lives of multiple generations affected by Pennywise's influence. Given that he's resurfaced more than 70 times in recent human history, there's potential to dive deep into his extended and gruesome timeline. While a project of that scope might seem ambitious, it's not entirely out of the question. The series could easily span multiple time periods, each reflecting the horrors Pennywise brought with him. This also raises the tantalizing question of his true origin. Chapter 2 hinted that Pennywise has existed for millions of years predating any city on Earth, which begs the question, what exactly is this creature and why the clown form? If the series follows the 27-year cycle, it would make sense for the story to kick off in 1961, shortly after the events teased in the movies. Interestingly, after the release of the first It in 2017, Bill Skarsgård gave several interviews where he talked about deleted scenes that could potentially find new life in Welcome to Derry. One such scene, shot but left on the cutting room floor, was set in the late 16th century and supposedly revealed Pennywise's true form and origin. There was even talk of an early script featuring a scene where Pennywise dressed as a clown plays the piano before devouring children in the 19th century. These deleted scenes offer a glimpse into what the series could explore. Darker, more twisted facets of Pennywise's history that weren't fully fleshed out in the films. With the lore surrounding Pennywise stretching back over centuries, Welcome to Derry could dive into different time periods and explore how this monster has adapted to terrorize each generation. 
duration. The prospect of seeing those disturbing, never-before-seen moments, like Monster's first appearance in his horrific acts throughout history, could add a rich layer of complexity and terror to the It series. If handled correctly, Welcome to Derry might not only expand on the films, but also reshape how we understand one of Stephen King's iconic characters. Prequel could evolve into something truly ambitious. Think of it as an HBO-style horror anthology, where each episode dives into a different era, slowly peeling back the layers of how Pennywise became the entity we know today. Anthology format would allow the show to explore a variety of settings, creating a distinct and unsettling horror experience in every episode. By blending historical context with the unfolding mystery of Pennywise's origins, the series could offer something far richer and more complex than a typical show. It would be a unique, chilling addition to the Stephen King universe on screen. But this is all contingent on the first season of Welcome to Derry performing well and raking in strong numbers on Max. If the audience eats it up, the potential to expand into something far bigger is there. One of the most intriguing possibilities is the introduction of a character named Bob Gray, a mysterious circus worker. Ideally, the prequel could delve into not only the horrifying Pennywise, but also this enigmatic figure, Bob Gray, exploring the moment their paths collided. This could add an entirely new layer to the It mythology that fans haven't seen before. Looking even further ahead, future seasons could shift gears, focusing on brand new stories from different writers, all under the watchful eye of Stephen King. This narrative approach would allow the franchise to dive deep into its rich lore, giving writers and studios the creative freedom to expand upon the mythology in fresh, innovative ways. Fans could end up with a series that doesn't just rehash the familiar, but breathes new life into the It universe, introducing fresh concepts while staying true to King's dark world. The possibilities are endless. Subscribe.